hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to see you all wagwan people today is jamaica's independence day so you all know it is so today's makeup look will be inspired by the jamaican color colors of the flag you know black green and gold yeah that's our thing there also if you're interested in you know just learning some jamaican words and what they mean in english then you can continue to watch this video all right so um let's start with like the basic greetings all right so like if we see somebody in jamaica and you know we're heal them all right heal it heal so we are healing, you know what that means, we are greeting them. So y'all would say good morning, how are you doing? We would say yes, we say good morning, how are you doing? But sometimes we will say like, Wagwan, our morning, big up yourself, bless up yourself. I will be right back so y'all will say I will be right back and we here in Jamaica would say we say come back so I will be right back is the soon come back or my soon come yeah. All right. So the next word is eat. So you know, um, y'all would say yeah, eat, and we would say nyam. So we would say like, no star, my own green or I can more nyam some food, and you all would say. Or may say, I'm so hungry, I need to eat some food or I need to eat something. Or would I say, yeah, I'm hungry, want me have some food. Is it, want some food for me have. Alright, the next word is, we like to call ourselves Yardies. Yard man, yeah. So if you ask a Jamaican, well, some of us, we have varying ways of saying this. But if you ask us, like, where we come from, we will say, yeah, we are yardy, we are yard man. Yeah, come from down a yard. <laughs> it's like Jamaica. <laughs> Alright. So we we'll call our friends. Um, sisterings, virgin, my dog, bro, god, my dupes. Yeah, <laughs> we have varying ways, various ways of addressing our friends. You know, it depends on how we are feeling. Yes, yeah, so if we, you know, we are ill friend, we are greeting our friends, we'll say, Yo, like, yo, my dupes, yo, yo, dog, yo, my link. Yeah. Um we also say stuff like say we want to say you know how it is. We're having a conversation with our friends and say and we would say like you know thing already, you know how it is. So we would say like you know the thing already, you know the sweat, that means you don't know the you already know the T, you know the 411, you know what's up. Yeah, so when I say you know the shrimp, you don't know the shrimps already. You don't know things set. Yeah, things like that. I mean, our language is just so colorful and I love it. I, to me, it is the best form of self expression for me because, yeah, I don't really believe that English can fully encapsulate what we are saying in 
like Jamaican patois, but we try to translate as best as we can for y'all. All right, so the next word is over there. So we would say over there. Yeah. So say for instance, someone asks, where are you going? And you all would reply, I'm going over there. We would say, me over this stuff. Yeah, or over this stuff, me and go. Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that. Um, yeah, so yeah. Alright, so the next song I'll be giving you is the one for Jealous. So, you know, Jealousy, the Green Eyed Monster, yeah, your Envy, We Say, Bad Mind, yeah. So, We Say, Bad Mind. I would say you drink the soup, you know? Yeah. You drink the soup. The bad man soup. <laughs> yeah, so we would say you, you drank the soup, the bad man soup. Yeah. There are a lot of songs dedicated to the bad. Listen, one thing with Jamaican people, we don't like people that are envious and jealous yeah like bad mind not still well with you yeah it, it just doesn't bad mind not really keep right here so you do yeah where you go with that so bad mind i go when somebody um you know step up them game whether it be fashion um you have been promoted to a new position at your job like you know any good change you would say yeah your thing up 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 like a level up like seven up like seven up yeah up so we would say your, your thing up say you go to a party or church for me and you enjoy yourself and like somebody asks you so how was church today and we would be like, yo, the thing, oh, me, I tell you, it's up alive, you see? Yeah. That means we, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. It was, was the bomb, you know? It was, yeah, the thing was just up, yeah. Sometimes when we get mad, like when we are angry, upset, yeah, we would say, like, no ramp with me. Yo, no ramp with me, no, I'm not ramp. That means no ramp with me means don't play with me. I'm not playing. I am serious at this moment. You will get hurt. Okay? So that is what no ramp with me mean. Yeah. Alright, some other Jamaican words are like Say for instance we want to say See you later. Ooh, this screen is pigmented. So, like, we're finished having a conversation with our friends. And we would be like... So, like, the, the older generation would say, Walk good. And the younger generation would say stuff like, Look more, look a bit. In other lights. That's like called tomorrow. So in a light mean tomorrow. Look a more, look a bit. Stuff like that means see you later. Walk with for the, the older generation. Say like Jamaican people are very feisty. Listen, we are feisty. So 
say for instance if when we have done something wrong unfortunately and you like want to threaten us with like reporting us to the higher authorities or parents whomever listen we will be like me no business go on me, me, me no business me no care like if you want to get like real patwa when i say me no care but majority of us will say like me no business galang go on now me no business so that means go ahead i don't care go and report us go and co- make a complaint like we don't care we no business yeah we no business <laughs> all right so say for instance we ask direction to to somewhere right and the person ex- give, gives us the direction and we want to say all right we understand what you're saying we, we got it yes so would i say zine our own zine yeah so zine mean i understand yeah me get it I fully, I fully understand what you're saying or what you're trying to explain. Yeah, or if we understand somebody's situation, we have put ourselves in their shoes. Yeah, Zin, I understand what you say. I, I understand. Alright. The next one is Jamaica. Yeah, we call. Jamaica, jam rock, jam dung, <laughs> Jamaica, oh yes, like you guys will be like, OMG, or oh my god, you would have said G's and P's, cheese and P's, yeah, so G's and P's is like, oh my god, I would have said for real, for cho-cho, yeah, so, like, when we can hardly believe something, and we are in shock with we like cheese and peas. For chocho, for real. Yeah. Um, the next word is like excuse me. How do we say excuse me in Jamaican language? You say excuse me. In a lot of different ways. Trust me when I tell you a lot of different ways. When I say a lot of different ways, I mean a lot of different ways. We say, move over, move, sorry me there, excuse me there, smile up yourself, give me away. <laughs> so, excuse me can be said in a lot of ways. Depends on how. And how you're using it. So, for instance, if we are in the bus and we want to pass, or if somebody is standing in the doorway and we want to pass, we will be like, "Sorry, me there. Smile up yourself." We all know this. Like Jamaican taxi man love to say this. Smile up yourself. All right, so. Gossip is the next word. Um, y'all say tea. Yeah, we have the tea, the receipts. We say, yo, I have pass pass for tell you. Or I have mix up for tell you. Girl, one piece of blender. One piece of blending. Girl, mix up and blender. Yeah, like, it's like that. Oh my god. I, I love my language. Can I tell you? No.
I'll be doing some Jamaican proverbs and the first one is Chicken Mary Park the Near. Right, so the translation is that the chicken is unaware of danger and you know you know how chicken so chicken going about his daily business not knowing that the hawk is near to eat him up to harm him to harm yeah so that's what it means that's the english translation and it means that danger lurks in some of the most unexpected places so you are always to be on your alert no matter what you're doing always be on your alert but we know Jamaican parents always take it for them one way because I remember growing up, my mother always I tell me, Chicken Mary, ah, then you. When she said that you don't say you're gonna get your ass beat if you don't sit down somewhere. So, yeah, that's what that is. So the next one is was sweet amount hot a belly, and that means well that is translated to English. Or for those non-Jamaicans to better understand, what tastes sweet in the mouth burns. And ex the explanation is some things are not good for us, although it appears to be exactly what we want. So we should be cautious about the things that we attach ourselves to because though it may seem good, it is not always good. So I think the saying like all that glitters is not gold would coincide with this proverb. Proverb, sorry. And the next one, the next popular Jamaican proverb is can't catch Quaku, you catch him short. Or some people say can't catch Harry, you catch him, you catch him short. And this means that it's not always possible to get what you want. So be satisfied with the little that you have. And also it can mean like, say for instance, somebody is looking for a relative of yours, a friend of a friend of yours to do them harm. I for harm them, for hurt them, and if you cannot find that person, they will attack the next best thing, which is somebody that is close to them. So you can also do that as well. Pit in a this pit in a the sky, it fall in a yay. And this one is if you spit in the sky it falls into your eye and this means what you do or wish for others will eventually be the cause of your own downfall so basically it is saying be careful how you treat others because karma is real like what you give it was it is what you get what goes around come back around it's basically saying the same thing Alright, and next one is New Broom Sweep Clean, but old room know the corner. Yeah. And this means the new broom sweeps the clean, but the old room knows all the corners. And this is you know find a happy this means like find a happy medium between new and old. Don't throw away um, what you have learned before, you know, for something new. So try to find a balance to, to blend past experience and, and new things that you have learned of you. So, you know, experience is valuable. It's basically saying that experience is valuable. So, you know, yeah. Use both experience and Freshness, then to to guard and to guide how you do things or how you go about life. Mm -hmm. 
No buy puss in a bag. This is another popular one. And this is do not purchase puss in a bag. You know what that's like an English translation for all my Jamaican For all my non-Jamaican people, sorry. And this one is examine carefully whatever you purchase or accept from someone else. It means do not be quick to accept a person as the genuine article because I you know some people are wounded and do they? Some people are not genuine. So you know do your investigations because people are not always who they say they are. Basically. So this would be like be careful of women to be cheap to women if you want something to compare to one. That is something that you can compare it to. Alright guys, so I'm going to be adding some lashes off camera and I'll be back. You all know what it is. I can't add lashes on camera to save my life. I don't know why. So, I'll be back. Every dog I've been there, every puss I've been four o'clock. And that is, every dog has his day. And every cat has its four o'clock. Explanation We should not behave as if we are better than others or allow our position in life to blind us to the fact that, um, you know, everybody can reach where you are. You understand? You know, nobody feel like, say, you are going to be the only person who comes up in life. So it's basically today for me and tomorrow for you. So I can eventually get where you are. Likewise, you can also fall back down the ladder. The ladder. You can also come up on a hard time. So treat people well. That is basically what that is saying. Alright, so the next proverb is when man belly full in broke pot. Sorry. When man belly full in broke pot. And this one for my non-Jamaican people, it is when a man's belly is filled, he breaks the pot. So that is a, when a man's belly is filled, he breaks the pot. So this means when a man is satisfied, he often forget what hungry feels like. So he he becomes indifferent, you are indifferent to the person who you know to his source of the belly full. So basically it is saying like when somebody is no longer hungry, say you help out a person. And when you know them reach up in a life or you know them get a little better than they were, they forgot the person who helped them. So that is what that means. Alright guys, that is going to be the final proverb slash Jamaican word for the day. I'll just be putting on a little bit of lip gloss now to finish this look and
I'm just going to let you know this. Guys, I'm back with the finished look. Looking for my country, you know. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I really like this. I think it's very cute. I love these earrings here. Love the glow, you know, to represent our sun. The glow has to be popping. Yeah, I love these lashes. Let me know what y'all think. The make and girls are cute, right? I know. Look up. They look good, yeah. <laughs> and our colors are very, very lovely. I love our colors. Yeah. It's shot, it's popping, it's so no. Yeah, love. So, y'all know what to do already. Murder the subscribe button. Yeah. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Comment below if you have any other Jamaican things or covers. Comment below also if you are not Jamaican and there is if you want to know the proper version of a, a word or a thing. And yeah, that's it for the video. I'll see you guys in my next video. As usual, I will be linking everything below in the description area that I use to create this look. I'll see y'all later. Bye.